for your hand that is powerful to deliver. We thank you for your hand that is powerful to redeem and save. To you be all the glory, to you be all the honor. Amen. For you told Moses, no, Pharaoh will not let you go except by my outstretched and mighty hand. Amen. And this day, oh God, and in this season, may we see the manifestation of the power of your outstretched and mighty hand in our lives, Amen. in our situations, Amen. in our circumstances, Amen. in the lives of our Amen. young ones, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Your hand is still powerful to save. Amen. Yes, Lord. Your hand is still powerful to deliver. Yes, Lord. Your hand is still powerful Lord. to give. Oh, this day, oh God, Lord. I this season. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, let that hand I heal, sir. Let it rest upon as many as are sick in their body. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Hey, man. Let the same hand that, that delivers, sir. Touch everyone that is being tormented uh, by demons uh, in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Blessed be your name, most high God. We give you the praise and we give you the honor. What a great God you are. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. This is a new week. A new month. If you know that you overcame in the month of July, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. You always send your word on an errand to heal, to deliver. Today, oh God, set forth your word again with the mission to heal and to deliver with the mission to instruct in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May we become hearers and doers of your word. We bless your name, Spirit of the living God, as we yield our souls unto you, that you may speak even unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to talk briefly this morning on what I titled the power of uh, obedience or the power of submission. What did I say? The power of obedience and submission. Praise the name of the Lord. What is obedience? Hallelujah. Obedience is submission to another person's authority or will. Do you agree to that? Yes, sir. Obedience is the willing submission to the order of somebody, to the will of somebody, to the authority of somebody. And for us Christians, that person is who? Jesus Christ. And so obedience is also the compliance with an order or instruction. And for we Christians, we are called to comply with the order and the instructions of the Most High God. Obedience also is the submissive attitude with respect to somebody's will. Submissive attitude, it, it, it is an attitude we have towards an order that God has given us. Praise the Lord. Because we are talking about the power of submission and obedience. Submission is also, what is submission you may ask? Submission is yielding to the will or authority of another person. And now you see that both are submission and uh, Obedience that they are interconnected and interrelated. Praise the name of the Lord. So to submit to somebody is to obey that person. It means to conform to that person, to the demands of that very person. It means to choose to follow that very person, 
to choose to do the will and the bidding of that very individual. That is what obedience and submission means. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to turn with me quickly to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, I will begin to read from verse 5. If you are there, say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. But only speak a word, and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I said to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to another servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed him, As surely I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. For I said to you that many will come from east and west and sit with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into the outer darkness. And that shall not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way as you have believed. So let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Hallelujah. The power of obedience and submission. From this very text, up, one thing is very, 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 very clear. That this very centurion that came to Jesus, he was a commander in the Roman army. And the military people understands what is called the last command. And so he came to Jesus, demanding that Jesus should act concerning his servant that was sick. And ordinarily, as many people will come to Jesus, even we today, we come, we would like Jesus to lay our his hands on us. We want Jesus to visit us every day and come to our homes. But this man, Jesus said willingly, I will then come and heal your servant. And the man said, No, Lord, it is not necessary. He said, I understand what to be under authority means. I understand what it means to obey order and authority. You know, this the gentleman was actually telling Jesus, you know, I have been trained all my life to understand authority. I have been trained all my life to know the power that is made available once authority speaks and you submit to the voice of authority. And therefore, Jesus, I know that you are an authority come from heaven. The highest authority that can ever exist. And therefore, if I under the human military, military principle, a commander gives order and the junior must obey and it must be carried. Therefore, Lord, you are of the highest authority. Just speak the word. For I know that every power will, will definitely obey you. Great power over Satan. Great power over the flesh. Great power over the enemy. And so if we want to be men and women that I will begin to, to manifest and begin to enjoy the power of resurrection, the power of the cross, let us learn to be fully submitted to God. Let us learn to be fully obedient to God. 
obedient and submissive in the small things and in the big things, whether big or small, there is a demand for us to be submissive and obedient. For already the power is already made available, but for us to access it, the key is obedience. The key is submission. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible spoke concerning Jesus. In Philippians chapter 2, from verse 5. Say, let this man be in you, which was also in, in Christ Jesus. Who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking on the form of a bond servant, and coming in the likeness of a man, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him. And giving him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And us, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth. And of those under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God. What gave Jesus the name that is above every other name? Total submission to the Father. Total submission and obedience to the Father as we have read in verse 8. Say, who being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient. Became obedient. Became Obedient to the will of the master. You remember the journey to the to Calvary. It started with the battle in Gethsemane. The battle to submit fully to the will of God. The battle to obey God fully by going to the cross. Why? Because he understood the pain of the cross. He knew the shame of the cross. He knew the rejection of the cross. He knew the affliction and the suffering that the cross will bring. And so there was battle. Battle with him. But the Bible said, for three times he went to the Father. He said, oh Lord, let this cup depart from me. Father, let another person drink this very cup. <laughs> but because he has learned obedience from the beginning, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. What is it that the Lord is calling you to do? And it seems to you that, are, that the road is too narrow. That there are thorns and afflictions upon the pathway. And you are trying to renegotiate with God. And say, Lord, Lord, let me I not pass through that very pathway. I tell you one thing. There is only one road to, the, to Calvary. <laughs> there is only one road to Calvary. And that is the road of total submission. To drink that very cup of bitterness. To drink that very cup of affliction. To drink that very cup of rejection, reproach and shame. And more than that, the cup of separation. And rejection of heaven. But it is all he said, Father, not my will, but your will be done. And the Bible said that. Three times he prayed the prayer. Three times he finally submitted to the will of God. 
an angel came and ministered to him. When you submit fully to the will of the Father, when you obey fully the demands of the Father, there is a strengthening from heaven. I say, God will surely send angelic angels to strengthen you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And today we celebrate Jesus. Heaven celebrate Jesus. Earth celebrate Jesus. Even hell celebrates Jesus. As the name that, that is recognized. As the name highly exalted above every other name. But it took a total obedience. Total submission to the will of the Father. Hallelujah. He was standing before Pilate. He said, for this cause, I was born. For this cause came I into this very world. The cause to go to the cross that mankind might be reconciled unto the, unto the Father. The power of our salvation was bought with the life of Jesus Christ because he fully submitted and obeyed God to die on the cross of Calvary. My brother, my sister, God wants to manifest his power in you and through you. But for him to do that, you must come to a point of total submission and obedience to him, no matter what happens. No negotiations. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Peter, chapter 1 and verse 3. And the Bible is talking that according to his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his glory and vision. He has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. However, how do we as go, how do we begin to live it? How do we begin to assess it? How do they begin to manifest in our lives? How do we begin to enjoy them? It is only based on our obedience and submission. It is based on our obedience and submission. It is based on what? Our obedience and submission. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Isaiah was at dialoguing with his people in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. He said, Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Beloved, there is good in the land. There is good of the land. I said there is good in the land. I said there is good of the land. Amen. But for us to eat, eat of them, for us to enjoy them, the Bible is saying that, that we must be what? Willing and obedient to do the will of the Father. Willing and obedient to obey Him in all things. Willing and obedient to submit to His word. Hallelujah. Amen. For He sent forth His word, His word healed, and His word delivered from destruction to those who do what? Who submit and obey the word of God. Praise the name. Because the authority you submit to, the authority you submit to will determine the power you will possess. If you submit to the, to the highest authority, you will discover that the power you will wield will be of the highest of power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, in the local government, let us use a natural, in the local government, you have the chairman of the local government or the mayor of the local government. 
He has people that work with him. What are they called? Is it counselors? Hello? Huh? Counselors. You know, counselor submits to who? To the mayor. And he has what? Power. You come to the state, the governor. He has who? Commissioners. Commissioners submit to the authority of the governor. And they have another level of power. power. Then, the pre then you have a ministers. Ministers submit to who? The authority of the president. Among these three categories, who exercises the highest form of authority and power? The president. And therefore, who he that is submitted to the president, who wishes as the minister, invariably wears a greater power than the commissioner and the counselor. And this name, Jesus, is highly exalted above the brother. Our God is called the King of Kings. He is called the Lord of Lords. And therefore, no power is a greater and higher than his power. Nebuchadnezzar thought in his day that he has the greatest power. And the day came that God decided to teach him lesson. And when he came to his senses, he confessed that there is a God that ruled in the affairs of men. Hallelujah. Hey, that was his confession. Men and brethren, God is calling us in this time and in this season to be fully submitted to him in truth and in spirit for us to begin to be bearers and manifestors of his power and his glory. Hallelujah. Mm. What is that thing that is a hindrance to our full submission and that? Obedience. What is that thing that we are holding back? Are we willing to submit our will to His will? Are we willing to do His bidding and not our bidding? Are we willing to follow Him truly in spirit and in truth? And Jesus said, A time is coming. And now is the time when true worshippers must worship the Father in truth and in spirit. For God, say for the Father is doing what? Is seeking. God is seeking for his children that will be fully submitted, fully submissive and obedient, so that they will become the, 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 the sons and daughters that will manifest the greatness of his power and his glory. And my prayer is that as we rise from here, let us begin to go to God and say, Lord, take over. Whatever it is, I surrender afresh unto you. I surrender afresh unto you. If you walk with God, you must, you must be a carrier of his power. Apostle Paul thought that he had power. When he went to the high priest to get a letters to go and arrest the, the apostles and imprison them. But then they came in his life when power jumped power. Hallelujah. On the road to the masters, he met the master. And he asked him, who are you, Lord? <laughs> and Jesus introduced himself to him. He said, I am he. That Jesus could take. You see, now I am sending you to the people that I have already delivered you from. You see, when you submit fully to God, then you will understand that the meaning of that very statement. That was the why Apostle Paul, no matter the trials, no matter the temptations, no matter the shipwreck and the rest of them, he said, none of these things move me. None of these things move me. He said, for I have made up my mind to live a life of submission and obedience unto God. He said, one thing, one thing, one thing I know. I press forward. 
and forget what is behind me. That I may know him more. That I may know him more. When we submit to him, we know him better. When we obey him fully, he reveals the fullness of himself to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we rise up and thank you to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah was a prophet that has been in the prophetic ministry for years. Yet a day came when he came face to face with God. And he understood that his submission and obedience to God were questionable. And after that encounter with God, from that time, his walk with God never remained the same again. Open your mouth and begin to talk to the Master. Hallelujah. Let us begin to talk to him. Let us begin to talk to him. Lord, we receive the grace to be obedient unto you. We receive the grace to be fully submitted unto you. Some rather may he and he rather say, Thy will not mine, O Lord. Yes, it is the hymn and the song of somebody that wants to be fully submitted unto God. Your will, his will, not my will. His will, not my will. His will, not our will. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse 1 to verse 14, Moses have began to show give God Give the children of Israel the blessings of obedience. It's now, if you shall pass. It's then now, it shall come to pass. If you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. To observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today. That the Lord your God will set you high above all the earth. <laughs> high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. There are commanded blessings, and the commanded blessings are only for those who are submissive and obedient to God. Lord, I want to be obedient to you. Lord, we want to be submissive to you. Lord, we receive the grace. Lord, we receive the grace. Lord, we receive the Lord will receive the grace. Lord will receive the grace. Lord will receive the grace. In the name of Jesus. You see, the Isaiah chapter 53 gives us a graphic explanation of Jesus Christ. He began to talk about him with the suffering of Jesus Christ. That he was led as a lamb to the slaughter. Yet he opened not his voice. He opened not his mouth. He did not object. He did not complain. He did not defend himself. How many times do we defend ourselves? Even in situation where we ought to hand it over to God. Say, God, this battle is not mine. Lord, I will not be the one that will reply them. Father, reply them. I surrender unto you. Hallelujah. Daniel understood this. And when they gathered against him, all he was careful to do is that I need to be totally submissive, totally submitted and obedient unto God. And after they have gathered against him, finally we know what happened. That Daniel was the one that stood. Even in the, in the, even in the lion den, he was able to manifest the power and the glory of God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, because they obeyed and submitted to God fully, even in the midst of fire, they were able to walk. And suddenly, he that was like he that was the fourth man, who appeared like the Son of God, even Jesus, 
was in their midst. You cannot obey him fully. You cannot submit him fully. And the fire of life will continue. You cannot obey him fully. You cannot submit to him fully. And the, and the storm of life will swallow you. No! You cannot obey him fully. And the trials there will continue. No! There is a power that is made available unto you. Begin to accept those plans, uh, those powers by being submissive and obedient unto Him. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you the honor. To Him who is able to do abundantly above all we can ever take or imagine, we surrender our will unto Him. We surrender our will afresh unto Him. We lay all on the altar of a sacrifice. We lay all on the altar, O oh God. Let our will, O oh God, let your will be enthroned in our will, Lord. Let your will be enthroned in our will. Let your desire be enthroned in our desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless your name. And we give the praise. For great is your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have been following us online and you've not met Jesus, your Lord and your Savior, and it is your desire to do so, I want you to make this confessional prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I know that you are the Son of God. I confess before you today that I am a sinner and I need you to forgive me of all my sins. I accept you in my life as my Lord and my personal Savior. Give me the power to be a child of God. Help me by the power of your Holy Spirit to live a life that is pleasing unto you. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name I pray. And again, if you are blessed by our message and that you need a prayer or need a word of encouragement or counseling, you can wish us with this telephone number plus three zero six nine five five zero zero six one nine two. I repeat again plus three zero six nine five five zero zero six one nine two. Do not forget to invite your friends. Share our link with them and God will bless us with that. Amen.